All right, hey stream. This is Nine Tails. I'm gonna try commentating. I have been warned that the audio is off by quite a bit uh, when we're streaming in HD, and that's something we're gonna work on fixing. But for the time being, it'd be great if someone in the chat, if there's anyone there, I can't actually see right now, could uh, let, let us know in which direction the audio is off, if there's a delay or if it's ahead. And in the meantime, we're going to get into uh, Smash 4 Doubles, winner's round one. Oh, I don't know how to do that. All right. So, uh, hey. Uh, perhaps uh, I wasn't heard earlier, I'm not sure. The audio's a little weird to me. But this is Nine Tails, I'm commentating. <laughs> okay, wow. Blue team <laughs> being a little self-destructive here. Uh, not self-destructive players, but to each other. Um, but anyways, Nine Tails, I'm commentating on Winner's Run 1 Smash for Doubles between the Slippery Penguins, which is that guy, and uh, CESC, a player I'm not familiar with. Against the Cosmic Kings, the original dominant team of Salem Smash Fest, Jaxus and G-Man the Cosmic Destroyer. G-Man going Falcon, which is a character that's uh, slowly making itself more and more his main, and Jaxus going Sheik is a uh, longtime main. That guy sticking with Mario, and CS, CESC, Ike. Uh, so far the stocks are even, although percent is a little bit higher on the Cosmic Kings right now. They're uh, working with that deficit they had after uh, G-Man accidentally spiked Jaxus at the very start of the match. And it looks like we started on a Final Destination. The drugstore Final Destination. Uh, ooh. Uh, Jax is getting caught off guard by that return aerial from CSC. And now he's charging his needles over there while G-Man uh, does the, the dirty work. Oh. Ooh! G-Man makes a really risky move, jumps into the charging forward sm up smash, I mean, and just back airs for the kill. He's at a very high percent, even for Falcon. 170 is definitely kill percent for practically anything I could do, other than a jab finisher. <laughs> But yeah, a single tilt, even a few of Mario's weaker kill moves, will definitely finish uh, G-Man off at this part, at this point. And Jaxus is resorting mostly to a slightly more campy state at this point. G-Man does lose his stock, and we're back to even stocks, although now the percentage is reversed. And G-Man picks up a double forward smash. Wow. Oh, wow. Jaxus holds everyone in place there with the jab, and G-Man just comes in and down ears in the middle of it. Just like, yeah, they're all, they're all there. I'll just get them both. That guy was working with the Scalding Flood custom, and that's something I saw him doing on stream last week. I wasn't here for it. But I think it's a pretty interesting choice. He seems to have worked out a lot of good follow-ups to connecting with it against the person who's trying to land. It's a good landing trap move in general, since you can't air dodge through all of it. You have to land and you can't shield if you're mid-air dodge, so. Oh, good needle work by Jaxus, keeping G-Man from being thrown. G-Man trying for an edge guard. Oh, <laughs> that guy actually picks it up. That's the way to go down, though. If you're going to lose, that's the way to do it. He's not going down alone, and he dunks. I don't know, that's G-Man. Game one, going to the Cosmic Kings. <laughs> and I'm going to be joined in a moment by Shy. So again, in case this wasn't heard earlier, um, we're streaming in HD today, and uh, from what I've been told, the audio is off. I can't see the chat right now. Oh, hey, Shy. I don't know if I can actually be heard. 
It says it's on. <laughs> I'm uh, so I can't see the stream, but if anyone there could comment for later on whether or not the audio is off and in which direction and by about how much, that'd be great. We can try to fix that for you. Yeah. So, Dungeon Kings, I saw the game one pretty. Uh, plus. it was convincingly once you consider that G Man like destroyed Jaxus like four seconds into the Wait, game. really? What happened? He just spiked him. Like really? on accident trying to spike someone else. Oh wow, okay. I, didn't, I wasn't here for the beginning of that game. I and, they, the and they won with a three stock lead almost, but then like, that guy was cool and he like dunks G-Man on the way yeah, down. It was pretty sweet. But then he died for it. Yeah. No, 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 but I mean like he was dead either way. He was just like taking someone down with him. Yeah. <laughs> Which was cool. Uh, no. Anyways. <laughs> We're breaking into two battles. Last uh, last game, Jaxus reverted to sort of more of a campy state while G-Man went in a lot. Yeah. And that guy and CESC just sort of did their own thing. Like, you know, whatever was opportune at the moment, they would jump in and do it. Alright, so... Sheik, not taking much damage, which is usual for this team, though. Cosmic Kings usually have Jaxus be a stock tank in sorts. Mm -hmm. And uh, that guy picks up the first kill of, the, of this game uh, with a back throw on G-Man. Ooh, good up smash. Trying to save his partner from the there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jaxus uses his needles a lot to get G-Man out of red yeah, spots. Yeah, it helps. Like, needles are great, especially for doubles, I feel. Because, like, if you in a 2v1 situation, especially, you oh, can't wow. punish, really. Did you see that? That bouncing fish was done as G-Man missed his tech yeah. to punish the person who was standing and not G-Man who was, was on the funny. ground. Yeah. yeah, that was really cool. Like, that was a really cool save because it was like he knew that he wouldn't get G-Man. Ooh, he read the air dodge there, he just didn't, like... Mario's oh, mobility kept out of it, yeah. So, the game's about even right now. Uh, yeah. Mike still has on his first stock, but he is at, like, 162. It's even, except for percents, when you consider that... Uh, okay, never mind. Richard's already at, like, 113. Yeah, and, and that guy And he is. just killed Sheep there, and then died. Yep. So, right now they're down four stocks to three. Oh, uh, no, no, it's 3-3, three, three, both sides. But, uh, no, that guy four, has damage. It's 4-3. Yeah, you're right, never mind. Yeah, they're up right now. Yep. So yeah, green team's <laughs> green team's in the advantage position, and that guy is actually putting <laughs> some work on Jaxus over there. The Ike's doing pretty well against uh, G-Man right now. Ooh, mispunish on the upbeat. Mm -hmm. Ooh, good scolding club. That's a good move. Yeah, I was saying it just a moment ago before you joined me. The thing, I saw uh, using scolding flood yesterday for the, er, sorry, last week for the first time on stream. He's been using it for a while. Well, I didn't see him do it to me, and uh, I, I was amazed at the kind of things you can do with it. It's really it good. It into a lot of things. It combos into a lot of things, and it's a really good landing trap. Yeah, it is. You because you can't air dodge through all of it. And if you try to air dodge through it and land on the ground, you're, you can't get your shield up in time because of the air dodge lag. So you get hit by it when you're shooting the people in the air, like, almost all the time. It's such a good move. Like, I've never, like, nobody used it until now. Like, people used high pressure club for the longest time just to camp, but I feel like that is a better move because it has the comfortability and, like, the, like, like, like you said, train traffic. Oh, and a really good forward smash by G-Man takes, uh, CSC stock. I still think the game's almost about even. Oh, and nice DI on G-Man. <laughs> that was the deepest kill by that guy. At least he picked it up since he had yeah. to die for it. He said it wasn't worth. Did you hear G-Man? <laughs> so... I don't know. I, I don't know. If he can kill Sheik right now, Ike has a huge chance. Because I feel like Ike has a better chance against uh, against Falcon than Sheik, to be honest. Uh, that could be true, because uh, if Falcon has to work with a... Uh, oh, he has there a it is. Now. Falcon has to work with a ranged disadvantage. There's so much more distro than what Ike does. And Ike got so much better in the last patch, too. Yeah, he is already moderately mobile, given his weight and power. That has super armor, by the way, someone threw that. Yeah. The up so that, that was a good use of up there. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Bad counter. G-Man wasn't yeah. going in. Wasn't the time to counter. <laughs> trying to side using that side B. He kind of like oh, it'd be better to just go for the edge. Yeah, I know. Good job. Edge job's really good mm -hmm. and really safe. Oh, going for the eruption. A little too early on though. Forward smash gets wrapped to boost punish. <laughs> yep. That is game two, and the Cosmic Kings will take it 2-0. Good game. That was a lot closer than the first game. Yeah. They made some adjustments. I felt. Yep. Uh, exciting stuff. Two kills! G-Man's kills? G-Man, why you kill everybody? 